been in Smash since the beginning, but since Brawl, right, since Footstools really kind of have come into the game and then have only increased in their relevance across each successive Smash game, and now we're really seeing them as a core part of the meta. We'll see if Mr. E continues to implement that here in Winner's Final, but he's got to go up against uh, against Zeno's finest warrior. Yeah, John Numbers. Put it up for Zeno, master of the ledge, master of the soccer ball, master of the sun. That's a lot of masters. Master of eating healthy and exercising, <laughs> that is for sure as well, my friend. Yeah, I mean, player four is making him eat his turnips earlier, so. <laughs> Sir Reggie, Reggie, too good of a player tonight to be here on the mic because that man is still storming his way through top eight down and loser's side. But for the moment, we're here on small battlefield. He's gone, just finding a quick advantage state, looking and, and no resources. But there's that footstool you were talking about before again. Yeah, and we've seen him last week, he did it. The week before he did it, Mr. E is like becoming footstool god. Yeah, and it's so good, right? Like, Vizikaradun doesn't necessarily, you know, has Dolphin Slash, but it's a pretty committal out of shield option. Right. It's a pretty committal tool to get out of some of these dodgy situations. And yet, Footstool puts you in this tech situation, which is just so good for Lucina because of the space she covers and her speed. Right, and me and Swiss were saying earlier, we were seeing a lot of characters start to develop their meta with the Footstool, especially, people might hate it, Steve. Footstool in the Anvil, that works. And you know what else works? Just a good old salute the sun, hitting that yoga pose and sending Mr. E over to the blast zone. On and Mr. E trying to keep it going with the tech chase, but just not able to do so. And the scramble is eventually going to go John's way, taking that stage control for the moment. But we're very much still in the noodles phase until the pivot F smash. Mr. E looking like Zayn Nagami over there <laughs> for a second. Oh, we just saw him throw out like three F smashes in about five seconds, and one of them's going to find John. Oh, it Here's one of your own. Yeah, man, uh, are we are we sure those headphones don't don't have us in yeah. them right now? <laughs> they might. They might. Hey, uh, F smash. Do it again. Just oh. one more for the show. Oh no! Trying to go for the double dunk. Numbers not able to link them together. So now it's gonna be Mr. E's turn, just pushing him coast to coast, trying to set up the edge guard for the early jump. Gonna mean he has to reset. Going for the second Ooh. attempt, but you hit those techs every day of the week. This late in bracket. Yeah, he was ready for that. I mean, uh, the amount of times he's fought Mr. E, uh, he is no stranger to getting that dolphin slash tech. Not at all, my friend. And you know John Numbers has been here, right? These two have played for years at this point and are very familiar with how to play around each other's kids. Mr. E just trying to find the stage positioning, right? Against John, you can't overcomplicate it. You you just want to keep things simple, especially in the corner, because of that explosive rehearsal potential Weep it has with three or four different spikes. But at the end oh, of the day, lives. it's not going to be oh. quite enough the first time around, but it's going to be the second projectile, my friend, that cleans it up as it's going to be John Numbers. Who else yeah. taking game one here of winner's finals at Zeno? Yeah, repping. House of 3K, John Numbers, he lives here. He lives here. I mean, <laughs> he might. <laughs> yeah, you can't get him out of here. He never leaves. I, this is, I think, the good reason that we don't... If there was a production cop back here, I think he <laughs> might, you know, there might be days that we do actually just see John Numbers yeah, yeah. living here. For this sure. man eats, sleeps, and breathes Smash Bros. And... It also, it, I don't know how much you've talked to John, but he is one of the sweetest people in the world um, as well. Just an absolute delight to have a tournament and really represent some of the best things about this community. That's awesome. Speaking of awesome, this man knows how to use a soccer ball. Good gracious. 74 damage in less than 10 seconds on Mr. E. And the, people talk about this character with limit, or sorry, with deep breathing, right? Being like a budget limit, there we see it coming out. But this character's even without it, their damage output is very strong. And when you do have it, it's just absolutely absurd. Yeah, on a character where a lot of people s seem to care about deep breathing, John only throws it out when he's completely safe, off stage, knows he's gonna land it. It's not really part of his on stage neutral game at all, ever. And and the reason for that, right, is because of the commitment, because it's not it doesn't have a hitbox or anything, it makes everything else you do stronger, but you have to be safe to set it up, and you pull it out at a bad time, like we saw him do there, yeah. Mr. E just finds the stock for free. Yeah, with that Dolphin Slash, that mm -hmm. frame one option, that I wonder what his kill count with that is in Smash Ultimate. Uh, it's probably more than the number of hours I have in this game, which is crazy because that number is in the thousands. Yeah. <laughs> now we're seeing a grueling neutral that ends in an F tilt from John. Smash! 
It ends in a smash from John Numbers. Good great, not a smash, a spike. Good yes, gracious. Sir, down air. We fit also got that forward air, the soccer ball for me good measure. As many spikes as you could ever want, and just chaining the forward airs as well. Mr. E holding the DI in there for just a minute. John doing a great job recognizing the situation and following it up. Oh! But he's gonna get a, his own spike for his troubles. Mr. E lining that up to get the, hit, uh, the, the that um, hit stun extension, the hit lag extension off the soccer ball, and to find that spike at the end there was beautiful. Giving him one of his own, and we've seen John Numbers do all of his damage to stock with forward airs. And the way he stalls with the soccer ball in between that forward air combo we saw earlier, baited the air dodge out from Mr. E, and let him follow up again to rack up this damage. He's on his game. Yeah. Oh. oh, and beautiful positioning there, lining up underneath the platform so that you get that early bounce ounce with the late angle oh to give it just a little bit more horizontal height than just the early soccer ball release very creative mix up both in timing and, and spacing from john numbers there to find that site yeah yeah mm -hmm. and we've seen john time and time again take these stocks from mystery with soccer ball he's making it look like the best projectile in the game and i know it's not i mean it's a lot better than people think it is yeah. though that's for sure and numbers is showing us exactly why here gets the parry game on point as well, but missing the tech right after, or technical prowess into a technical club to give Mr. E the edge, the corner, and the game lines it up again. It, the thing I appreciate about these two, you see the patience, you see the gameplay, neither of them are particularly aggressive, neither of them are particularly explosive, but they make that up with beautiful fundamentals, beautiful positioning, and then all the spikes you could ever want. Right. And really, what's better than a spike? Right. No, nothing. There's nothing better than a spike, unless you're Mr. E, maybe a footstool. <laughs> well, yeah, as long as you're killing them, it just yeah. the best blast zone, yeah. we can all agree, is the bottom blast zone. Yeah, and these two, what's also great is they're both masters of their character. We've seen Mr. E play Lucina for years. John Numbers have... I don't think ever strayed from the Wii Fit path. He has, yeah. But that's because he out. He, he he has been playing this game competitively yeah. since before Wii Fit was a yeah. character <laughs> in this game, right? Like yeah. that is an important thing to remember here as well as. Oh, he goes oh! on there early, but this time his numbers returning the footstool favor, finding that quick stock early off Mystery ease over aggression. Can't do that now, Mr. E playing aggressive. Yeah, but that soccer er, of all that header, right? Resetting your momentum, allowing numbers to stall that vertical, that vertical descent, and find his way back to stage. Mr. E though trying to keep this going at the corner, but John playing it patiently is gonna find his way back. Then they are all over each other. We've seen them within like one foot of each other all game, staying at that right side ledge. And and now, speaking of all over each other, not giving Numbers any room to breathe at the ledge, but that overextension gonna cost him the scrap going John's way, allowing him to get back, regain stage control, but Mr. E with his own creative option to find his way to avoid his own ledge trap scenario. And John now has deep breathing active. Mr. E needs to find this stock soon if he wants to win this game and this set. Trying to find his way through this strange pacing, right? From a grab from aggression to reset. Numbers is gonna sit back and throw some projectiles into, okay, they're just gonna be in this CQC scramble once, twice, there it is again, right? This time it's gonna be Mr. E getting his resources burned, but able to find his way back, not gonna fastball all their air and the, getting him back oh, just a little bit later, threw off John's timing, able to close it out. Beautiful stuff from him, locking it down and locking it up and barely oh. gonna survive. No. He was ready for the counter there? Who counters there? Mr. E has encountered once. All set. Uh, every set I watch of Mr. E, he has encountered once. And the one time he does it, John Numbers is like, <laughs> he laughs at him. <laughs> Hold this F till. But, I and, swear, numbers, numbers can see the future sometimes. I'm Mr. E, they're a very, very scary situation. The hit lag extension off the soccer ball prevented him from grabbing ledge there for a minute. And Numbers is very nearly able to capitalize. Mr. E. Getting back, he's missed two sweet spots on this down air, though. <laughs> oh, and Numbers has still not been able to capitalize, but it's for Mr. E, they're trying to find a way back into this game, right? He's down on a stock here, here, and so he has to be careful, and that's why you're seeing a lot of this more aggressive, these down airs, these F smashes come out from him. Yeah, and Mr. E was just racking up the damage with those uppies, and he finds a stock, and if there's one person at Xeno right now who will bring this all the way back, it's Mr. E. We saw it against Carflow earlier, right? Yeah. And we might be in store to see again here if, if 
Mr. E has anything to say about it. He's already pushed Wee Fit off stage, and while that's where Wee Fit wants to be, it's also where Lucina wants you to be, as now numbers with no jump, no resources, but when you have a header, you have a way, he's gonna find his way back and keep himself in the lead for the moment, but yeah. Mr. E's not giving him much room to breathe at all. Yeah. And we see John using Wee Fit to stall as much as he can off stage, into the soccer ball, into the deep breathing, into the sun salutation. He has every tool to use it, and so far this set, we haven't seen him stall too heavily, but right there, he brought it all out to make sure Mr. E wasn't going to land another back air. And now numbers though, right, able to get it, you off, and at this point, the percents are high. Mr. E's starting to get momentum, so numbers, what are you trying to do? Throw out a couple salute the suns, slow it down, play it all the way as deep as you can go, force the slight spacing mis mistake to start to make Mr. E nervous. But Mr. Oh. E in full confidence mode, going up, 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 and out there, lining that up, up with the back air, and because he's positioned below you, if not, if Numbers jumps, Mr. E can just go back to ledge and still juggle you. And if and if Numbers fast falls or does anything else, right, that's where we see the double jump call out to catch you from below. Yep. And because that backer swings up as well, with the rising descent, it covers any angle Numbers can find. Yeah, and make no mistake about it, Mr. E was down a whole stock, a whole stock. And he rigorously brought it all the way back from 157% with two stocks to zero with two stocks. But, oh my god. I love that, dude. Yeah, that it was, was filthy. It was so clear. Like, like, just numbers being ready for the wave land beforehand, too. But this positioning, right? That's exactly what we're talking about. You see yeah, how he's coming at these edge guards from below because lining up, because the back here swings from your waist, right? She kind of pulls it out of the sheath and up in that backhanded angle, doing it again here at the end. And because he can jump in reaction, he's jumping second and swinging up like that, there's nowhere for numbers to go. No, you air dodge back mm -hmm. in. He already has it covered with the forward air. You, you, you do anything else there and you're dead. He just couldn't jump there in the first place.